afternoon, everybody. Tyler Rowland here of Rowland Sports, where you meet the athletes. And I'm here at Blue Ridge High School at a basketball event. We've seen a lot of a lot of different teams coming in here and playing. And I am with Brandon Jennings of St. Christopher's of the Saints, who has come in and saw him play and put on an impressive performance. Um, Jennings, who has received looks from different Division One universities, and while it's been uh, impressive to see him on the court and what he's accomplished off the court as well. He's been quite the player. And first off, let's talk about academically, Brandon. Talk about your your GPA and talk about your what your efforts on the academic end and why that's just as important to to do as being a great player on the court. Um, as a player, you have to have the academics. You have to have the ac academics in the classroom to be able to like handle schoolwork and then go to practice, do some homework, then go to sleep and repeat. Mm -hmm. So you got to be able to handle the rigor of the classroom and still be able to put in work every day mm -hmm. to be great. And nice. And what's what's your favorite school subject at this point? Uh, I would say math. Math is my favorite subject. Nice. I understand you have an interest in engineering. Yes. Yes. I would probably do something with engineering in college that's awesome and talk about the talk about your a regular day in your life what you do for basketball training well during the school year I would normally have a early morning workout so I would be in the gym at 5 I go from like 5 to 6 30 then shower and get ready for school I live like an hour away from school, so I leave at 7, get to school by 8, go through school, then get home, get a little workout in, maybe hit the Vertimax, get my body right, get my core work in, then repeat the process. Mm -hmm. And talk about the importance of putting effort in the weight room to be an effective player. It is very, um, very important. You got to play strong, you got to be strong, you got to look strong, you got to look defined. It all, it all, it all um, comes together. Mm -hmm. And talk about the importance of hustle on the field. Now, you're a very athletic player, but you have a lot of talents. But what impressed me when we saw you play, it was that you didn't rely on that. You relied on your heart and determination. Yeah, coaches are going to see you hustle, and you got to show it. Even if um, you don't think nobody's watching, somebody's always watching. So you got to put in 100% uh, effort. Mm -hmm. And talk about um, playing for St. Christopher's and what you like about the school and the atmosphere. It's, it's been a blessing. Um, we're a little undersized this year, but that just means we got to play harder and stronger and have that camaraderie with each other to know everybody's personnel and then in order to win. Mm -hmm. And to give your, your fan base the opportunity to get to know you a little bit better, talk about what are some of the things that, things that you like to do as a team. Um, some we hang out on the weekend sometimes we uh, go play pickup or go find some friends from other schools and just hang out stuff like that we definitely work out a lot we always try to get the coach to open up the gym and see what see put on some work mm -hmm. and what are some of your hobbies maybe on the side sounds like you're very busy but when you do get a spare minute what do you like to do um, I play the game from time to time um, I wouldn't say I really have no downtime I always if I'm if I'm bored, that means I need to be working out. Mm -hmm. And who's your favorite NBA team? Um, uh, Warriors. You got to go with the Warriors. Um, I'm a bandwagon, but it's all right. <laughs> nice. And and where's your favorite place locally back home where you like to eat out? Um, Chick Fil A. You know, Chick. You never know, go wrong with Chick Fil A. Wish it was open on Sundays. Nice. Very nice. Well, Brandon, we thank you for being on today, and be sure to stay tuned. We're going to have a couple interviews released from this Blue Ridge event here in Virginia. And thank you, Brandon, for being on today. And we'll see you next time on Rolling Sports, where you meet the athletes.